temporary also, but I cannot condone the use of steroids. The only reason I'm telling the truth about them uh, is because uh, I'm hoping that if anybody's considering it, they would listen to me and just not do it. And I probably have more validity um, if I tell the truth. Uh, see, I got away with it. I got away with it, but you may not. You see? Well, there's only one genius, so I wouldn't put it back. Well, that's just, I don't feel, you know, talking about it, I don't really feel much like a genius. Um, that was probably a stupid thing to be doing, but it does work. It works like magic. But anything that's too good to be true is probably too good to be true. So... Sure. Yes, it is true. So uh, all it does is temp temporarily bloat the muscles with water, and then when you pull the needle out, the water leaves. And now, what what are your what are your thoughts on on the product today? You know, from from what we've heard from many people who talk about you know steroid usage, steroid usage in wrestling, they say it's it's really cleaned up, and people are you know it's like probably non-existent. Is that your belief as well? Well, I wouldn't know, but um, a lot of people had to die first, didn't they? Uh, that's correct. I mean, there's there's a trail of corpses that have uh, paid the price for the uh, wisdom that we learned a little too late. Now they're having, uh, you know, well, when I was doing it in 1989, the testing hadn't started yet, and steroids were legal. And by the way, I got my steroids from uh, the doctor in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, that used to come to Hershey, and he's the one that had to go to jail for that. But um, the American Medical Association and the uh, the drug, all the drug organizations and all that, they're corrupt, where money lies on or dies. But it's better than some of the wrestlers did. They went from San Diego to Tijuana, and they, uh, where they were given steroids across the counter, and then they, they got fake steroids. You know, as bad as the, uh, as bad as the, you know, the, the pharmaceutical companies are here, they're even worse over there. In other words, yeah. money makes the world go round. And uh, in Mexico, they're in for a fast dollar, and uh, they give you fake steroids. So I got mine from a real doctor. I got real steroids. Ooh. Okay. Um, now, do you still are you still in talks with the with like the WWE? I know you did the poem, the the tribute poem for um, the WrestleMania 23 matchup between Vince and Donald Trump. Do you still work with the WWE from time to time? I haven't even seen the WWE since 1994. Oh, I thought I thought I read somewhere that you you wrote a poem for that whole WrestleMania match, or is that just the yeah? That being the that actually happened, but uh, I got an email from a man uh, who worked for WWE.com, and he asked me if I would do it, and I wrote about four poems, and they uh, published them all, and uh, that's the extent of it. Wow! Then all of a sudden, they they pulled the plug on that too. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a bit awkward. Uh, they they haven't asked you, you know. They do from time to time, gimmick battle royals and all that good stuff. So so, not, not even considered for any of those. Well, um, if the phone rang, I would answer it, and uh, the phone hasn't rung. So I'm like a fat girl on prom night. The phone's not ringing. <laughs> that's all right. They won't return our calls either. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that is so correct. We're competition, apparently. Yeah. We're too too big for the WWE. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, Leaping Lanny, or the genius, however you uh, like to be known, can we put you in what we call the hot seat, where we just spit out some questions you give us, the first thing that comes to your mind? Okay. Yes, I'm ready. All right. Uh, what if if you're going to be remembered for one thing? What will you be remembered for? 
I hate to be boring, but the match with Hulk Hogan. And also my appearance on Regis Philbin, um, which happened on January 15th, 1990. Um, and and LannyPapo.com, uh, on the intro page, I put all my greatest moments there. But those are the two moments that I remember the most. Uh, I have I have what you call selective amnesia. I I forget the ones uh, that I want to forget. <laughs> I hear you. Um, if you could step into the ring with any wrestler that you had not stepped in the ring with, past or present, who would it be? Oh, let me see. Uh, Tori Wilson. <laughs> And he's a man of my own heart. Uh, <laughs> she could throw a mean clothesline. <laughs> if, if they were making a movie about your life, who would play the lead role as you? Um, the lead role would be played by, um, let's see, uh, Pee Wee Herman. Okay. No, or, or Danny, or or Danny DeVito. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, oh. Okay. If you were, if you were to walk into an alley, which which super which wrestler would you not want to see in a dark alley right now? Let's see. Not want to see in a dark alley. Um. Let me think. I would have to go with um, the Barbarian if he was angry with me. Okay. You know, I, that's, a, that's a pretty good mountain of a man not to have him messing with you. Or how about Meng uh, uh, Haku? That would be another one. <laughs> I mean, I'll tell you what, there was, a, there was a few guys I wouldn't want to be in an alley with. That's why I've always avoided alleys. Favorite ice cream? Favorite ice cream? I would have to go with vanilla. It's boring, but you can count on it. That's true. Uh, favorite childhood memory? Childhood memory. Um, I think the babysitter liked me a little too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, I gotta collect myself. This is supposed to be rapid fire, it's not too rapid. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, I, I wish we could have done the, the the hit the rope awards a little later because Lanny could take you know the best the best guest award right now. <laughs> oh man! Oh yeah! Uh, <laughs> My little brother is uh, winning an award. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, his Macho Man fight. is better than mine, so, hey, there you go. Yeah, who who would win in a fight? <laughs> Between who? Between Lanny and Randy. Um, I think we both know that Randy would win in any fight. <laughs> All right, who? who, who? That, that, uh, I don't know, I mean, you know... Sometimes the younger brother comes up and takes the edge. Sometimes it's the bigger brother. You never know. I don't know. Well, I'll have to wait a few. I wait. I have to wait a few years when he's hooked up to an IV. Uh, <laughs> all right. Now, all right. that'd be my only hope. Let let let's do one more before we get you out of here. Um, when the whole phone issue went awry. I I don't know if the phone line got crossed or something, but I heard something about food. So what what what's the one what's the one dish Lanny Poffo would want? You know, if he had to have, choose a final meal. My final meal before before uh, I broke even with the house. In other words, uh, before you mean on death row. Chicken one last bucket, meal. Yeah, exactly. Right. I would have to go with, um, well, my grandparents made ravioli um, with three kinds of meat and all these garden vegetables, and I've got some nice memories of that. I mean, and you can't get that in a restaurant. It's got to be homemade. This is the Italian side. 
But uh, as far as, I mean, 